All right, guys, today I'm going to bring forth a new adventure for you. Talking about teleport here, firewall rules. So, I'm going to be showing you how to basically block certain devices and allow people certain access on teleport. So, it'll be pretty dang cool here. So, let's get right into it. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna have to do is you're gonna connect on your phone uh, to your teleport. You're gonna make sure your device, whatever you're using teleport on, because you're gonna try and find what IP address it is because it's not gonna be easy to find of what IP address range they're using. So you can see right here, here's Miles' phone right here, teleport 41. So an IP address range of 192.168.4, that's what we want, that's the VLAN that it's using, the virtual network that it's using to run the teleport through. So what you're going to want to do is go to your settings and we're going to go to go to profiles and you're going to create a new profile, create a new profile and this is teleport and we're going to create it called 192.168.8.4.0 but yours might be different so you got to look connect to it first and then you can figure out what IP address range you need to put in there. So once you're done, you can call it teleport or whatever you want. Teleport firewall rules or whatever you want to name it. I've called it teleport firewall. You can name it whatever you want. Or you can copy me, don't matter. All right, once that's saved and you've added it, we're gonna wanna go to firewall and security. And when we're on firewall and security, we're gonna gonna go to create new entry. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go to, I'm just showing you for mine, I can't just change this all the time. So we're gonna go to block teleport to all. So that means all the other networks and all the other devices is just gonna be blocked. So we're gonna, it's a LAN out. So this is a LAN out. So the type is LAN out, block teleport to all. And we're gonna create this rule as action as drop because we wanna block. So it has to be dropped. If we wanted to accept everything, it would just be accept. We're dropping it. Uh, IP group range, IP4, we're going to do all. Source type, port group, we're going to do our teleport firewall that we created down below back in port groups. And then we're going to have destination type, port and IP group range. Uh, it's going to be RFC 1918. If you guys haven't created regular firewall rules and your VLANs and stuff, you're definitely going to want to do that. I'll have a link up here in the description for the video for you to teach you how to do RFC 1918. Definitely gonna wanna do that, so check that out. Um, next, what we're gonna wanna do is make sure this says any, and just hit save, and that one's done. Now, we're gonna go back to firewall rules, and they have a NAS. As we can see, if we go to their devices, their NAS is right here, 100. So I want the NAS to be able to access, I wanna be able to access it. So what I can do is go to settings, we're gonna go to firewall rules security, all rules, and I'm gonna go down and you're gonna create a new entry, so make sure you hit create new entry. And it's gonna be another drop one. And to see it says uh, right here, we're gonna do accept. So this is gonna be teleport to NAS. So it's a LAN out again, because it's going LAN out. Teleport to NAS, that's what we're gonna name it. We're gonna do accept, source type, port group, firewall again. And then we're going to do destination IP address this time. We're going to do IP address and we're going to set it to the IP address of the NAS. So that means that this person, once this is activated, can only access the NAS or any other devices that you add in here. That's all people on teleport can access. So the next thing that we're going to do, that you're going to make sure that you do this in the firewall rules, is... You're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is uh, on active right now. So let's, let me turn it on. It's gonna resume it now. Oops, I didn't resume it. I get right on there. Let's see, play. There we go, it's activated again. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the drop is under the allow. You can grab these and move them down because if the drop's here, it's, not, it's gonna drop it before it gets there. We need to accept this first, then drop all the rest. So it's dropping the, accepting the NAS and dropping everything else. Definitely need that. Now what I'm gonna show you on my phone, how it's working. So as you can see, I am of, we go to devices. I can see my phone is on the teleport right now. So let me turn this on really quick here. Perfect. All right, so next what we're gonna do, as you can see, 
We have uh, the NAS. Where is that NAS? Where are we here? It was just, oh, there it is. IP address 100. So I'm going to type in here. I'm going to type this IP address and we're going to do 192.168.1.100. Hit enter. They're using, there's, they have a slower network. It's not as quick, but there we go. There's the NAS, MyCloud EX2 Ultra, MyCloud EX2 Ultra. So here's the cool thing. They also have an HD home run that they're using for their Plex. So we're going to go to that. Let's see what happens. We're going to go 192.168.1.103. We're going to hit enter. Oh, oops. Gosh, darn it. Uh, yep, I did an extra number in there. 192.168.1.103. Enter. There we go. Now it's coming into it. I did it right, 192. And look, nothing's gonna happen because it's locked. We blocked everything on the network. But if we go back to those firewall rules and go to traffic and uh, firewall security, sorry. And I'm gonna go back down to that drop connection, drop all, teleport to all. If I go to pause it, yep, pause it. Now if I refresh this, Let's go to it now, and we'll go right back to it, I think. Oh, no, we'll just type it in again. 192.168.1.103. Boom, instantly there, just like that. Now I can look at channel lineup. We can see all the channels, but then let's reapply it again. It's applied again. So now let's see if we can go back, let's go back. We can go back because it cached it, but let's go to system menu. Nothing. It just sits there. System menu, it doesn't work because it, it won't let me go anymore. I paused it, so it does not have access to any of this. Now, if I unpause it, let's go to drop, pause, drop all again, pause, and then I'll refresh. Give it a minute. It might take just a minute to take effect. Now we'll go to system menu. There it is. We got our system menu. We are rocking and rolling just like that. It works. It's awesome. And I did it for you guys. Uh, I just really wanted to make sure that you guys knew how to do this. Uh, it's pretty dang cool and it just helps keep you safer. You can have people access your stuff and not have them access to everything you know on your network. So hey, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. And I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out and get it done.